Recapped here, today I'm going to explain a social science fiction thriller film known as The Platform. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. An extraordinary meal is being prepared in a massive kitchen where a connoisseur walks around and approves the various dishes. Goring wakes up in a concrete cell marked with the number 48. He is not alone in the cell though. He shares it with another man, Trimagasi, who explains that they're in a vertical self-management center, also known as the pit, a tower-style facility that has two people on every level, and they're either knocked out or moved to a different level every month. Trimagasi says that the food is the only key for survival and is delivered through a platform that travels from top down, stopping for a short period at every level. Those on the lower levels get to eat only the leftovers from the levels above. Goring tries to communicate with the people in the lower level and the upper level, but Trimagasi stops him by saying that he should not be talking to the ones below because they're on the lower level and the upper ones will not answer him. Suddenly, a red light turns green and a huge table of partially eaten food descends through a rectangular hole in the middle, and Trimagasi starts eating the leftovers in a manner that disgusts Goring, who only picks an apple to eat later. As the table descends to the lower level, the room's temperature starts to increase, and Trimagasi warns and accuses him of keeping the apple, and as punishment, the temperature was raised. Goring has no other choice but to throw the apple below. There are two ways to get into the hole either by choice or if you've committed a crime, and survivors are given a diploma if they survive during the tenure. Goring remembers that while he was being interviewed, he was told they can only keep any one item with them in the pit. He brings a Don Quixote book with him, while his roommate has a self-sharpening knife. Trimagasi talks about how he ended up here and tells Goring that he's preferred to be in the pit rather than a psychiatric hospital for killing someone by throwing the television during a fit of anger. Trimagasi reveals that while he was in level 132, he and his former cellmate cannibalized a man who fell from the shaft just to survive because they knew there would be no food left when the platform reached that level. One day, a woman named Maharu rides down on the platform. She's been there for 10 months and is in search of her son. Trimagasi explains that she killed her cellmate, hoping to be reunited with her son in the following month. Each month, she descends in search of her son, and if anyone gets in her way, she kills them. However, she never speaks, so the truth remains a mystery. The table starts to descend to level 49, where the inmates try to harass Maharu. Goring yells from above to stop them, but Maharu kills them and continues to descend further. After many days, Trimagasi starts to like Goring, and somehow they become friends, although Trimagasi does not think that Goring has the capability to survive in this place. Goring becomes more like his cellmate and does not hesitate to eat leftovers. Trimagasi says that he only has two more months before he gets his diploma and walks free. When Goring wakes up, he finds himself in level 171, where he's been tied to the bed and sees Trimagasi standing over him with his knife. He can hear people screaming in terror as they discover where they are, and many commit suicide by jumping down the hole. Trimagasi explains that it would have been risky for him if he hadn't bound Goring, since he has a better body and shape, and he would have killed and eaten Trimagasi. Trimagasi promises Goring to fast for as long as he can, but when the hunger gets too much, he will slowly mutilate Goring, so they both can eat the flesh and survive. Angry Goring calls Trimagasi a murderer, but he said that it's the levels above that cause this, because when the platform descends, not even remnants of bones are there to eat, so the only way to survive is to cannibalize. After a while, Trimagasi starts carving Goring's leg, but before he can get a chance to complete it, Maharu descends on the platform and stabs Trimagasi, leaving him wounded and frees Goring. As soon as he's freed, he kills Trimagasi. Maharu offers him Trimagasi's flesh so that he can eat it and survive, and she descends down further on the table. While Goring was alone, he starts having hallucinations of the conversation between him and Trimagasi, who is now part of his body. Goring barely survives during this month. The next month, Goring wakes up on level 33 with a new cellmate, Imogiri, who is here with her dog. Before volunteering to be placed inside the pit, Imogiri worked at the organization that runs the pit, and Goring remembers that she was the one who interviewed him. She seemed like a wise person, who suggested that if everyone ate only what they needed, there would be plenty of food for those dwelling in the lower levels. Imogiri explains that the purpose of the pit is to bring good people in, and if the inmates try to sacrifice for each other, the administration will convince the people living outside to do the same. As the table descends, Imogiri requests that the people eat only what they need, 
but they ignore her, and they're all only persuaded when Goring threatens to defecate in their food. One day, they find Miharu seriously injured on the table, so they treat her. But when she recovers, she kills Imogiri's dog and eats its flesh. While Miharu descends again and kills another convict who tries to rape her, Imogiri tells Goring that Miharu came voluntarily into the pit with no child, and she wanted help in becoming the Asian Marilyn Monroe through her bogus acts and emotions. Imogiri reveals that she has cancer and lost her fight with it a few years back, so she decided to be sent to the pit. Imogiri wanted to save the residents of the pit by bringing solidarity between them. While she thinks that she already knows everything about the pit, its gruesome nature is still a surprise for her. After losing her dog, she constantly sinks into depression with each passing day. After reassignment day, Goring wakes up and finds himself at level 202, where he sees Imogiri's lifeless body hanging. As Goring was on level 202, he thinks that even Imogiri didn't know about the actual level count. There are more levels below him as well. Goring tries to eat his book, but it was not enough to survive, so he gives in to cannibalism yet again by eating Imogiri's corpse. He used to hallucinate conversations between Trimagasi and himself, but now he hallucinates Imogiri as well because she is also part of his body now. The next month, Goring shifts to level 6, where he finds a new cellmate who is known as Baharat. Baharat has a rope with him, which he used to climb up, but the inmates above mock and defecate on him. One day, while he was trying to climb up through his rope, the inmate couple above the level cut the rope and Baharat lost it. Goring proposes that they should descend on the platform and distribute food at each level equally. He hypothesizes that if they're able to take the food to the bottom level, they will have beaten the system, and if they fail, they can ride up the platform. As they both start their descent, they beat up the interrupting inmates, or those who were reluctant to accept their decision. They reach a level where they meet an old man who was once a fellow cellmate of Baharat, and he suggests to them that one delicious dish must be kept untouched and uneaten, which will serve as a message for the administration that the pit had been conquered. They chose a perfect panna cotta for it. The men are successful in convincing prisoners to conserve as needed. As they descend, they reach a floor where they see Maharu being stabbed by two inmates. Baharat and Goring kill the two prisoners, but by the time they make it towards Maharu, she dies. As they continue to descend towards the lower levels, they see people getting insane or losing their lives. While descending, the platform stops at level 333, and they thought it might be the last level. They're surprised to see a girl, who they thought might be Maharu's daughter. They give the panna cotta to the girl and go to sleep. Although they were thinking that this level was the last one, they concluded that there could be more levels. When Goring wakes up the next day, Baharat had already died due to his injuries. As they were in the lower levels of the pit, the platform reaches them with no food at all. Goring was left alone with the girl, so he pulls her up onto the platform and caresses her while she sleeps. The platform finally reaches the lowest level where there's barely enough light. Goring starts hallucinating again, and this time it's Trimagasi, who tells him that soon his journey will end and he will receive his diploma. He tells Goring that he should leave the child to ascend because she can send a message to the administration. The platform begins to ascend with the child on it, while Trimagasi and Goring watch her. Trimagasi assures that one day the child will rise and succeed in delivering the message to the administration.